Chrome 61 now supports JavaScript modules natively, unifying the way that modular JavaScript can be written. You can now use navigator.share to trigger the native Android share dialog. And the Web USB API has landed, allowing web apps to access user-permitted USB devices. I'm Pete LePage. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 61. Chrome 61 adds native support for JavaScript modules via the script type equals module element. That makes it possible for Chrome to fetch granular dependencies in parallel, taking advantage of caching, avoiding duplication across pages, and ensuring that the script executes in the correct order. This standardized module system unifies the way that modular JavaScript can be written and shipped to the web browser. In the future, the same system will be available in Node, making it easier for you to write and deploy isomorphic JavaScript. You can learn more about modules and the aspects of JavaScript that are affected by modules from the links below. If you want users to easily be able to share your content on their favorite network, you need to be able to integrate sharing buttons on your site for each of those social networks. It adds bloat to your page, doesn't always fit nicely within your UI, and means that you need to include code from a third-party site. The Web Share API, available today on Chrome for Android, allows you to invoke the native sharing capabilities of the user's device, allowing the user to easily share text or links with any of their installed native apps. In a future release, this API will also be able to share to installed web apps. To use it, simply call navigator.share with the details of the page that you want to share, and the system will handle the rest. Check out Paul's update link below for full details and some of the best practices that you should be following. Most hardware peripherals, such as keyboards, mice, printers, gamepads, are all supported by high-level web platform APIs. But using some specialized, educational, scientific, or other USB devices in the browser has been hard, often requiring specialized drivers. Chrome now supports the Web USB API, allowing web apps to communicate with USB devices after the user has provided their consent. To learn more about the security and privacy considerations and how they're addressed, have a peek at the Web USB spec. When you're ready to dive in, take a look at Francois' post on updates. Both are linked in the description. These are just a few of the changes in Chrome 61 for developers. And of course, there's plenty more. You can now specify scrolling smoothness with the scroll behavior CSS property. CSS hex color values can now specify an alpha transparency by adding digits to the end of the string. You can access the relative position of the screen content with the Visual Viewport API, exposing complex functionality like pinch and zoom in a more direct way. All the details, including links to more detailed changes, docs, specs, are in the description below. And be sure to check out the new in Chrome DevTools video for all the new stuff in DevTools. Then click subscribe, and you'll get an email notification whenever we launch a new video. I'm Pete LePage. And as soon as Chrome 62 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.